What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. Well, several of you said that you wanted to see some trucks, so we're on the truck row. This is a 2014 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition. I've never even heard of this truck before, so this is news to me. And aside from the other side, the truck actually looks pretty good. Oh, I'll show you the damage. It's it's pretty gnarly over here, guys. Uh, yeah, something just... I mean, look at this. It just mangled, and it went right through this door. I mean, ripped it apart. Look how clean those cuts are. Wow. So, uh, the wheels damaged, too. But you've got something that started up here, and it just went right down the truck, man. It just tore this poor truck to pieces. So, yeah, this is... Uh, this is done. <laughs> this is a this is a wrap. Could you fix it? Yeah, you could if you put a bed on it and a wheel and two doors and a fender. Um, you'd have most of the damage fixed and you could probably use it for quite some time. Now, this right here in this little cab section here, uh, yeah, good luck. You're going to have to unbend that, I guess. I don't know. Damage to the side step too from what it says and a little damage to that wheel. Honestly, screw fixing the wheel. I would throw a fender and two doors on it and I'd just drive it. And that's probably what somebody's gonna do. Find the same color truck and just put the parts onto this one and be done with it. Let's take a look at the interior. Oh, something's been in here walking around. Oh yeah, there's been critters in here. Hopefully they're not still <laughs> in here, right? I love this leather. This leather is beautiful. It even says 1794 embroidered into the seat there. You got the JBL audio system. It's a nice truck. I mean, honestly, this I'm actually kind of impressed with the interior of this truck. She's, she's pretty nice, guys. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, she's clean. The color of these seats <laughs> is really nice. I had no idea. I don't think I've ever seen a Tundra that I liked as much as I like this one. I don't think this has any power. Of course, it's going to have the 5.7 iForce under the hood. We'll take a quick peek at that. I don't think I'm going to start this one up, though, guys, because this isn't something I'm going to buy. In fact, really, none of these are anything that I plan on buying. Now, if I see the right one... Uh-oh. If I see the right one... Oh, wow. That's kind of gross. Well, it needs a good cleaning, that's for sure. Good Lord, look at the battery terminals on that thing. That's a science project right there, guys. Wow, okay. As I was saying, <laughs> I ain't gonna bother starting that one because I'm not interested in it. But, you know, if I see one that I could potentially bid on, I'll go ahead and look at it. How about this, a Honda Ridgeline? You guys love, no, we don't, we don't, know. No, we're good on a Honda Ridgeline, aren't we? We'll pass on that one. Here's a nice little Ram with a single cab. I like these. You just, you don't see these anymore, you know? Everybody's got those mega cabs, quad cabs, crew cabs. Bring your whole family and your extended family along cabs. Whoa, I don't think that goes to this truck, guys. Uh, <laughs> that door came off something else. So, what's wrong with this? Obviously, the back bumper took a hit. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's mangled up a little bit, but not too bad. Needs a bumper, needs a tailgate. Looks like it needs a couple tail lights. Hell, they may be back here. Who knows? They may be hiding back here. Yeah, yeah, well, that one's, that one's got a crack in it, so that one's no good. Okay, so here's what you need for this one. It looks like it's got an X on the tow hitch, which looks like it's part of the frame so there very likely is some damage to that but i'm going to be honest with you guys really who cares it looks like it's still towed just fine does it not i i don't see a problem with this uh throw a tailgate on it throw a bumper on it and a couple lights and you got yourself a pretty nice short bed single cab pickup truck man it's not bad tires look decent too hell i'm actually getting interested in this i wouldn't i'm not out here looking for a truck but i actually uh 
I'm actually getting a little bit interested in this one. Oh, and it's got power. Are you kidding me? And look how clean this thing is. Look at this. Are you serious? I mean, someone did a little patchwork on the seat there. Whatever. Whatever. And, you know, if you got to bring someone else along, you can always lift this up and put somebody right there. You know what I mean? It's got 101,000 miles. <laughs> it's out of gas. Like, it has none. You guys probably can't see it, but look right there. Gas gauge completely empty. Yeah, well, we're not going to bother with it anymore. That sucks. It even has a smell of a new car, and I don't know how that's possible with 100,000 miles on it. Look at all the cup holders. Dang it. This is, uh, this isn't good. This isn't good. I want, I want this truck. I want this truck. And I did not come out here looking for a damn truck today. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, uh, I said, damn, I apologize. I had someone get really angry with me and they were really hateful in the comment section the other day. They've been watching me for years and they're never going to watch me again because I said, damn, in my video. Um, so I just want to express my sincerest apologies to you. I hope you could find it in your heart to forgive me for uh, for saying damn i'll do my best not to uh not to say damn anymore on the channel damn it look at this wow <sighs> so either it is out of gas or somebody's been fooling around under here it's kind of funny to see that open right yeah i think it really is just out of gas guys gas gas gauge shows empty this is a nice truck this I, I wish i could hear it run i really do but you got your five seven hemi man this is a great little two-wheel drive truck, man. Great little two-wheel drive truck. I'm gonna have to pull this up on Copart's website real quick. Uh, like I said, I didn't come out here looking for a truck. I don't need one. I've got a truck that I'm paying for every month and I, I never drive it. And I've got a new truck, an 84 Chevy, that I'm absolutely in love with. Same type of deal, you know, single cab. Mine's a long bed though. Um, but man, this is almost too nice to walk away from. So it's not for sale. But it is a, a pure sale when it does go up for sale. Whatever the bids bring, that's what it's going to sell for. Uh, it's listed as a run and drive, pure sale truck. I, I think this is an easy fix. I, I honestly can't believe that an insurance company salvaged this over a bumper and some taillights and a tailgate. I, whatever, that's fine. Let's continue. Ooh, look at this Chevy with the Dirty Max. See? I get excited about trucks. This is why I don't come over here and look at the trucks anymore, guys. I get excited and I start wanting to bid on stuff, and I really shouldn't. AT4 HD with the 6.6 Duramax. Boy, she's clean. Um, somebody carved an X. <laughs> somebody keyed it. They carved an X right here and then just ran it straight down and then down and up and down and then up and then down. oh wow man oh they pissed somebody off real good didn't they that's a crying shame uh the way this thing is sunk into the ground the tire is literally buried under the dirt it's got me thinking this truck's been sitting here for a while guys <laughs> oh yeah you can see from the sticker up here this truck's been sitting here for a while let me see if i can climb up and see what the date is on this bad boy it is uh july of 23 <laughs> july of 2023 wow so my guess on this one is vandalism it's gotta be i mean you know well hold on you guys tell me both tail lights are broken in a similar manner now that scratch going down the side and an x right here somebody did that that was definitely an act of vandalism but this tail light you'll see there's a big dent in this tailgate this scratches all over it and some pretty bad dings here too and then another broken tail light it does look like they kind of they must have backed into something or somebody drove into it somehow something hit this right here but it, to salvage it to total it again tailgate now i know this is probably uh-oh maybe it's dead this is probably one of those like unobtainium tailgates you know they sell the vehicles but they don't have any parts if something breaks 
So a lot of these get salvaged simply because the parts aren't available. Oh, this is really nice. What a shame. Especially a truck this expensive to just be sitting here. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm, I would throw some taillights in it and I would drive the damn thing. That's what I would do. I'm half tempted to try to fire this one up just to see if my NOCO jump pack can do it. Especially considering I've been using that jump pack all day and I have jump started several cars with it. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if it could fire this thing up. Look, for me, okay, yeah, the tailgate is scratched. That sucks. But if I'm going to buy this truck and this tailgate is unobtainium or this tailgate's two or $3,000, if it still works, I don't give a damn. Oops, I said it again. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to buy a couple tail lights, which are probably $1,000 a piece anyway. Throw the tail lights in it, and I'm going to be done with it. It's got good tires. The rest of the truck looks fine. It's got a big scratch down the side. Oops, somebody scratched it right here, too. And it took a little, it's got a little scuff right here and right here. What else is there, man? The front end hit something, too, didn't it? It sure did. So it looks like we got a lot of scuffs. So that could just be bug guts. There's definitely scuffs here. There's a lot right here. But to total this truck over something that seems so minor, uh, I don't know, something seems really off with this one. Very, very off. This thing looks, I mean, it looks brand new under the hood. Now, I don't know that my jump pack is going to be able to start this one, but I think it wouldn't hurt to give it a try positive goes there negative goes there we'll see i don't know i've used it all day on a bunch of cars so it'll be shocking if it's able to start a duramax but i don't know i got faith in it i think it can we're about to find out and uh, you really should have two of those jump packs on something big like this uh i'll be surprised if it's capable of starting it but oh it doesn't hurt to try I'll be damned. <laughs> it did it. That little jump pack did it. Wow. And effortlessly, too. It didn't even struggle. It wasn't like this thing was sitting there going, rawr, 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 like effortlessly. It fired right up. And just like I thought, runs like a dream. And when I said it looked brand new under the hood, well, there's why. It's got 3,000 miles. 3,155 miles. Are you serious? Wow. You know, my Ram Limited, it's a 23. I think this is a 23 also. Um, my Ram Limited's got a much bigger screen. I like my screen. I like my whole infotainment center better. I like my center stack better. And I've got, I've got everything this has. I have trailer brakes. I have all the USBs, power points, hill descent control, heated, cooled seats. I mean, I've got everything that this one has. I got four-wheel drive. I mean, literally, I've got everything this truck has, except for heads-up display. No, I do. I've got heads-up display, too. See, I haven't driven that truck in so long that I forgot I even had heads-up display in it. But there's just something, and I, I don't know what it is. There's something I just kind of like. Maybe it's the shape, the contours. I really like the feel of this truck. I do. I mean, we don't need to test um, the windows or anything because, I mean, it's brand new. We will, however, put it in reverse. Do we have nothing here? Does this not come on at all? No infotainment center? Interesting. There's, there's nothing. Air conditioning is on. It seems to work. Air conditioned seats work, but we have absolutely nothing from the infotainment center. That is bizarre. Fuse maybe? I don't I don't know. We're going to move it backwards. Yep, and we're going to move it forwards. And the and I know it's got a flat tire, guys. The only reason I'm doing that is just to get that tire out from the mud. I can't, I can't stand this truck just buried in the mud. This is nice, man. This is really nice. Yeah, this thing runs perfect. See, there we, that's all I want. I just wanted to break it free from its prison in the dirt. With any luck, it'll fire back up on its own. 
I don't think it'll take too long to charge those batteries up. Yeah, I would absolutely drive this truck all day, every day. Wouldn't hesitate. I mean, not the biggest fan of diesel because of how expensive it is right now. And then you gotta have the DEF with it as well, but phenomenal truck right here. And yep, the power step is working. You throw some air in that tire, assuming it's not popped, and you'd be good to go, man. Got a parking brake light flashing too, I don't know why. And then some parking wrench. So apparently there's something wrong with the with the parking brake assembly. And obviously something very wrong with the, uh, the display here. And as far as the air conditioning goes, let's turn it on vent. It sure doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cold. That's also kind of strange. I've got it on its coldest setting. The ventilated seats are working, but this is not cold at all. There's gotta be some damage to the condenser. There's something that I've missed on this truck. Let's see if it'll start back up. No, dead as a doornail. All right, well, oh yeah, like it's, it's dead dead. It's probably been sitting so long, those batteries are gonna have to be reconditioned if there's any saving them at all. All right, let me put my stuff back in my bag. We'll continue on. Yeah, I got a hunch that something went through this grill or something, man. There's, I don't see anything, but there's more to this truck than meets the eye. You got a Ram with the Ram boxes here. Love those. Ford, you know, I've had so many F-150s. I'm just kind of over them right now. Uh, kind of feeling Chevys right now. But again, you know, if I see the right truck, I'll definitely uh, consider bidding on it. Now here's a nice old Chevy. Well, hold on. Yeah. Never mind. This this one's this one's pretty rough. But I mean, if it was in decent shape, this is one I'd consider. Oh wow, yeah. That's uh, that's crunched. Do you really consider these trucks? Honest question. The Jeep Gladiator. I yeah. I think you guys know how I feel about them. To each their own. Obviously, it's your money buy what you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Just giving you my, uh, my opinion. I don't, I don't see this as a truck. You know what I mean? It's got a tow hitch. I don't think you can tow very much with these. And there's just not that much usable space in the bed. So uh, personally, I wouldn't buy a Jeep as a truck. I'd buy a truck for a truck. But like I said, to each their own. Here we come across the King Ranch F350 with the Power Stroke turbo diesel. It's got the uh, the frame killer on the front of it. Uh, that's serious too, man. Those things, uh, you get into a wreck, yeah, it's, it's a frame ender right there, guys. I don't think I wanna look at that one. Besides, there's not really any room to even get into it. Here's a, well, a nice Chevy, not so much. An F150, kind of lifted a little bit. I like this. I mean, it's it's wrecked, but still, I like the truck. They, they did good lifting it. Nice looking wheels and tires. Let's see what else we can find. Hey, listen guys, if you see something that I have missed, and I really try to be thorough, but another dang F-150, good God almighty. There's just so many of them, I, which I, I guess makes sense, because I know some of you are gonna get in the comments and say, well, that's because it's the number one selling truck in America for like 65 years in a row. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, I can't really argue that. <laughs> I can't really argue with you on that. I do understand that uh, obviously being the best-selling truck in America for years and years and years, yeah, there's going to be more of them in the, uh, in the salvage yard, obviously. Another uh, F-250 sitting over here, a little bit newer generation, STX. Love the look of these trucks. Uh, not smashed. Now, here's one I can get behind. All right. Now, here's one you guys probably don't want to see. But take a look at this, man. An old 90s Ram 2500 with the Cummins turbo diesel, even has a block heater. You know, she's rough. I haven't even seen the other side yet. She's rough. Um, there's your block heater right there, you know? So it's probably from a cold climate. Yeah, it's... Mm, it's rough. This this is a work truck. It's what this is. It's a Laramie SLT. The bed is just beat to hell, man. I mean, 
yeah it's she's been a work truck probably her whole life got some real meaty tires at least on the back goodyear wranglers overall though I, just remember work truck and you'll be fine as long as you just understand this is a work truck it's beat up pretty good the back tires are practically new uh the front tires are different they're hand cooks uh so different tires on the front but they still have decent tread on them it's gonna have some miles on it guys i'll bet you this thing's got like 280 maybe 320 this is an 01 yeah, the dashboard's usually missing hey oh it's got the five speed i like whoa what is this are you serious that is a block of wood attached to the clutch held on with hose clamps hose clamps uh huh i've seen it all that's all i'm gonna say i've seen it all you got your five speed manual transmission right there and uh Looks like this is a two-wheel drive variant. I thought for sure this was a 4x4, but I guess not. Does it have the key? Let's see if it's got any juice. No, no juice. It's sitting here in neutral. You got the quad cab, sort of. It's the half doors on the back, but you know the seats actually look pretty decent. Dashboard, yeah, dashboard is gone. That's very common on these. Very rarely will you ever find one that the dashboard is still intact on. I think it's worth it to pop the hood. Now again, we already started that 6.6 uh, that six, six turbo diesel with my jump pack. I do not think it's going to have it in it to jump start a stone cold dead Cummins. We're going to give it a try though, because why not? We're already here. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? It ain't going to start it? That's not that big of a deal guys. Again, should really have two jump packs for this, but since I only have one with me, I have two. I've got another one at the house, but I only bring one with me because 99% of the time that I'm out here filming, I only need one. Uh, and these things get heavy, so let's crank her on and we'll make sure we're getting plus to plus, minus to minus. We should be getting a bang. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, again, I don't. I don't expect that she's going to be able to start off that, but we'll give her a try. And if it does, if it's able to start this, I'm going to put a link below this video to that jump pack. Because I, honest to God, I've been using that same pack, the same brand, same model for years. And all of mine still work. Every single one of them. I just keep buying new ones because they get really beat up over time. Um, and regardless whether it starts this or not, they are damn good jump packs. See? <laughs> what I tell you? <laughs> hey, I'll be honest with you, I really didn't think that it was going to be able to start this. <laughs> I did not think it was going to start this. It started it without hesitation, with no issue. And it, this is the last video, just so you guys understand. This is the last video I'm filming of the day. Alright, I've been out here for hours and I've jump started several cars today. And I just got done jump starting a 6.6 Duramax diesel. And now I just started an old school Cummins turbo diesel. That is a great jump pack. <laughs> important window works. Less important window works. I'm going to say the AC probably ain't going to work, but we'll give it a try. And I heard the engine change idle. I'm curious about the mileage. It's not bad, guys. It's only 188,850. Not even 200,000 miles on this old girl. You got your felony forest right here. The good old black ice. Oh, the AC works. It does. The freaking air conditioner works. It's got a cassette deck. You remember this old school Chrysler CD tape player combo? I, I, I remember these. I thought this was just the coolest thing ever. This little, uh, this little knob that could adjust between front and rear, left and right, and anywhere in between. I thought that was the coolest thing ever back in the day. Uh, what do we got here? An ashtray. I could have swore there was supposed to be like a cup holder thing here, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. It's got some money. You got some peppermints. And of course, a manual transmission. I'm just going to put it in gear just to see if it tries to pull. It does. <laughs> it, it pulls. This thing pulled down a house, guys. Let's check our gauges. 
Uh, temperature is still cold. Voltage, it's sitting around 14. It's got an eighth of a tank of fuel. And uh, damn good oil pressure. Sitting close to 80 PSI of oil pressure, guys. Steering feels fine. Like I said, windows work. Brakes feel good. This is in, in cold air. I, <laughs> we could turn that off. That's amazing. That's... That's amazing. And you know what the best part is? Right there. No diesel fluid. None of that. And I think the exhaust might be aftermarket. Do you think? I think it's aftermarket exhaust, guys. Probably straight pipe. Straight from the front out the back. You got no EGR valve, no EGR cooler. It's just an engine and a turbocharger and exhaust running straight out the back. And it's noisy as hell. Like, it is, it is extremely loud. The way a diesel is supposed to be. We'll go ahead and close this. Hopefully this one charges up enough to start itself back up. Climb back in. This thing is really not in too bad a shape. Really, this is, this is decent. That sounds good. It sounds really good. I think, I think I found one I want to bid on, guys. I doubt it's gonna start back up. No, dead. Uh, what do we get? Two keys? You get two keys to it. It's got a tag from a dealer. This says it's a 2000 red Ram. That says it's an 01. Interesting. Um, it should tell us right down here what it is pretty clearly. Let me see if I can... There we go. It looks like... It is a 2001. It's a September of 2000 model. So that should, that should make it 2001. I'm gonna pull this one up real quick, guys. I wanna see how much it's going for right now. Well, unfortunately, it's not for sale. It's not salvaged either. So it looks like this probably came from a dealership and is being sold as a, as a CDS vehicle. We're gonna just kinda peruse through just a little bit more. And I think I'm going to end it. I see this, uh, this vehicle says Suburban, except that's not a Suburban. This has a truck box on the back of it. This is an Avalanche, but I think somebody threw a Suburban front end. You can see the colors don't match. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe it's hard to see the reflection. I don't know. But anyway, the front does not match the color of the back. Completely different color. So somebody threw the front end from a Suburban onto this avalanche <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find out here man did they do it on this side too it, did they do the whole no they didn't see this side says avalanche and the other side says suburban so uh is this one that i'd be interested in buying no no not a chance at all i like this uh elevation edition gmc you got the 5.3 nice truck man very clean truck it's got a little dent in the side or maybe a bullet hole no it's a dent is it wrecked in the back because i like it that means it's going to be really smashed somewhere yeah the bumper is smashed into the uh the corner of the bed here did it oh no 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 it did not make contact with the cab I'm surprised this is here they must have found frame damage i don't understand why this would oh it's severely damaged on this side hail damage too wow Boy, this truck had a rough life. Yeah, it's incredibly smashed on this side from hail. Really bad hail damage on this side. So now I understand. And on top, I didn't see that either. Yeah, tons of hail damage on this one. Guys, I think I'm about done. I know we still have a long way to go, but I might come back and film the rest of this in another video. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Be sure to drop your comments down below and until next time, stay safe out there everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.